fulfill the promises of God in your life. You have to discover your role. The part that you have to pray. Because all the promises of God are conditional. God does not give a free gift. The simple blessing that God has given to us is salvation. And even that, there is a condition. For God so loved the world. And gave his only begotten son. Now this is the condition. So ever believes in him. Says in being good to time, Baleluia. Being good to time, Baleluia. Being good to time, Baleluia. Being good to time, Baleluia.
him praise. Give him praise. You know, I don't know the song. I just saw a man came here, uh, uh, Solomon, and he sang that song. So from that day is when I heard it. So the area that uh, rested in my heart Mahali ambali teka moyo wangu is mbingu ni tutaimba aleluya hapo mbingu ni tutaimba aleluya mambo ya malaika siji watafanya nini mbingu ni nini nini watakatifu watafanyaji mimi ya nasi kushika mimi lishika tui neno moja aleluya aleluya iyo beke yake siji wa ulishika gani Nani nakumbuka kile kingine ulishika wewe? Ama huu kuwepo? Nilikuwa. Wewe ulikuwa ulishika nini? Nilikuwa. Taruka kama ndama. Eh, taruka kama ndama. <laughs> kama ndama. Eh, tutaruka oh, tutaruka na mabawa. Watakatifu watameta meta sijui. Kuna vitu vingi aliwana sema. Watakatifu tutaimba. Eh? Eh, watakatifu. Watafanya nini? Wataimba hallelujah the word hallelujah does not change in heaven on the earth in every na every nation every country people shout hallelujah hmm? mataifa yote watu wanashangia neno hilo hallelujah so halibadilika let's, let's shout hallelujah three times hallelujah One, two, three, go hallelujah that is one hallelujah that's two Come on, somebody shout hallelujah! Thank you, thank you. Asante, Greet you. Give your neighbor high five. Tell your neighbor I love you by force. Whether the devil like it or not. I love you. Tell somebody I know you are not a good person. You have different habits that I don't like. But anyway, because of Jesus. I love you. I love you. Are you greeting somebody? You need to go around and greet people. Yeah. The house of God is a house of love. No matter what the person did for you outside there. When you enter in the gate. Love your neighbor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greet them. Give them high five. As as them, I, love high five. I love you by force. I love you by force. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. So, so now you may sit in the presence of God. Sasa waweza keti katika uwepo wa Mungu. Amen. Amina. Sit in the presence of God. Keti katika uwepo wa Mungu. In the name of Jesus. We are happy to rejoice in the praises of God. You know, it's a good thing to dance in the house of God. Let me hear Amen. Let, let your Amen be life. Acha amina yako iwe hai. Amen. I say it's a good thing to dance in the house of God. Nasema ni kitu kizuri kucheza katika nyumba ya Mungu. You see, it will help you a lot. Unajua itakusaidia zaana sana. It will help you a lot. Itakusaidia sana. People go to the bar night clubs. Watu wanaenda kule kwenye bar usiku. To dance. Kucheza. There is one woman here. Kuna mwanamke mmoja hapa. I will not mention the name. Sasa mtaja jina lake. She told me. Aliniambia. Up to now. 
hadi sasa if i have a problem with my husband nikiwa na shida na mume wangu i hide najificha i run to the night club nakimbia kwenye bar i dance nacheza the whole night usiku wote if i come in the morning nikirudi asubuhi she think that i'm a cheater anadhani mimi nimeamua ni mtu wa kudanganya but i'm not a cheater lakini mimi sidanganyi i was just angry nilikuwa tu nimekasirika and i go to the night club to dance nikaenda kwenye bar kucheza she say when i dance wakati ninacheza oh the anger and the bitterness asura na utungu wote evaporate inayeyuka and i come back in the house narudi kwa nyumba you see unaona and she's born again oh na maokoka she's here in this church yuko hapa katika kanisa hili but you don't know her lakini hawamjui i'm the one that know her mimi tu ninamjua and i will never tell you na siwezi kuambia who is she nilikuwa ni nani and i told her is okay nilimwambia ni sawa because there was no dance in the house of god nataka kukuwa na kucheza katika nyumba ya mungu that's why you went to night club sababu ulienda kwenye bar You know in night club if you go to dance people will look, some men who like to dance with you especially if a woman has quarrel with her husband and you run in the bar night club you will find a man that love you they are in the night club what you throw away kile ambacho unarusha somebody else will cap it tumwingine ataishikilia you trust your wife unafukuza mke wako somebody will receive him tumwingine atampokea you deny your husband unakataa mume wako another woman is longing for him kuna mke mwingine anamtamani sana i'm telling you the truth nakwambia ukweli that's life you know like maisha look at somebody and tell somebody that's life tazama mtu mwambie hivyo ndivyo maisha ilivyo tell somebody that's life but i don't see people talking i want you to talk to me tell somebody Life. If you are sitting next to your husband or your wife look at them straight in their eyes and tell them if you despise me somebody else is looking for me <laughs> that's a truth it's a truth no, he may know the person is more valuable in your eyes on their knees pray oh god i was looking going through the media and i happened to reach a place where these people talk tiktok a place where there is a lot of funny things i found a lady praying oh god mess up with that woman Let that woman quarrel against her husband. May you disconnect the love of her husband. Let that man drop that woman. So that I may find a chance. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> There are people praying against your marriage. Some people are looking away. On how your marriage will break. So that they can fit themselves there. Look at somebody and tell somebody Shetan Oswado. Ambia mtu utasimeswa. Oswado. Oh, Oswado now. Okay, help us. What is it? Tusaidie. Oswade eh uh, Oswade eh uh, like that de Oswa oh die Oswade like that Oswade Oswade eh uh, come on somebody say Satan Oswade Oswade You know Oswade now tell us what the meaning of that Yani ngo You are telling Satan Satan ngo If you are looking away that I will divorce my wife so that you can enter there ngo I will not divorce I will not run away from 
your marriage. If a husband is beating you so that I can run away from her, don't run away. The moment you run away, another one will find a chance. So stay there and fight your battle. Can I hear amen? I say, let me hear amen. Even if you are not married, you will marry soon. So you supposed to say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me share the word. You, you are welcome in the house. In Jesus' name. You are welcome. Karibuni. We thank God for this day. Nashukuru Mungu kwa siku hii. We believe that heaven is helping us every day. Natumai bingu natusaidia kila siku. And backing up our point. Na nasimama na kila atu wazetu. I want to thank you all for coming again. Ndaka ni washukuru nyote kwa kukuja tena. Even though majority of you, you come very late nowadays. Licha ingawaje wengine wenu mnakuja ka umetelewa sana. Some of you because you are fighting some battles. But I want to encourage you to fight and be in the house of God. Early. You remember last week I talked about cooperative anointing. The cooperative anointing when you are praying alone, if you come on Sunday, you meet other people, you pray together with the people, it gives you strength. Upako pamoja unapokuja unapoomba nao inakupa nguvu. Some of you, you are weak to pray alone in the house. But if you join the church service early, you can get brothers praying. You tap the anointing. So even when you start the service, you are already on the fire. Amen. So I want to encourage you to fight. The enemy that caused delay. May you come all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amina. That amen should be louder. Amina Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw today I also give this glory to God. For all of you that you are visitors, you are welcome. Kwa wageni wote ambao umetembelea karibuni. No, the visitors have not kututembelea. The visitors they have come to worship. Wageni wamekuja kushiriki nasi kuabudu. Anyone that I invite outside there. Yote yule ambaye analiwa kutoka kule nje. When I invite somebody and somebody tell, okay, that Sunday nitakuja kuwatembelea. I always tell the person I don't need you again. Yeah, I don't need that person. If you want kunitembelea, you come in my house. If you come to church, you don't come kunitembelea. You come to worship with us in that day. There are people that they are not members of this church. But they choose to worship with us on a particular day. So to make your prayers or your attitude right. Just put yourself like you have come to worship with us in that day. Don't say I have visited you. We don't know the visitors in the house of God. We need everybody to come and worship. So when you are a visitor here, you have come to worship with us that day. And we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukija kunitembelea nda kufunja moyo. Lakini ukija kwa budu. You go with a blessing. Utaenda na baraka. 
Anyone that we invite in the house of God. And they will tell you. If I get a chance, I will come. They are disqualified. You don't need to get a chance to go and worship. You need to create time for worship. Nobody is free. Everybody has something they are doing every day. You must separate yourself for a certain time to worship. So these words I'm talking to you, it should be uprooted from your heart. If I get a chance, I will come to church. Forget it. It's like you are disqualifying yourself. Create time. Anything that has to do with God. Don't use the word if. If brings a sense of doubt. In the many types of prayer. The word if is used only in one type of prayer. It's called a dedication prayer. All other type of prayers. If you apply the word if. That prayer is in doubt. And once the prayer is in doubt. It's not fulfilled by faith. Somebody shout, I hear you, sir. Let me hear some people that hear me. Let me hear them. Shout, I hear you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you are all welcome in the house of God. Those of you that is your custom to worship here. And those of you that have joined to worship with us today. And those of you that you worship us and you continue to worship with us. All of you, your food is in the house. Any menu that you are looking in the presence of God, you will find it here. Somebody say, I hear you, sir. So I want to share with you about the seven levels of anointing. Seven levels of anointing. Amen. Amina. Somebody say seven levels of anointing. Somebody say seven. Uh, no. Say seven. seven. Levels of anointing. My interpreter. Viwango saba ya upako. No. You are failing. Somebody say seven. seven. Levels seven. of anointing. My interpreter. Saba viwango ya upako. No. You are failing. You are failing. An interpreter is a person that says what the man is saying. That is an interpreter. You are just interpreting what I'm saying. Okay? In a different language. So now listen to what I'm saying. And then you interpret. Somebody say seven. No, you listen. You are not listening. An interpreter should use their ears very well. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. And then you will now follow it. Somebody say seven levels of anointing. Now say what I have said. Mtu sema saba. Viwango. Ya upako. Now you have got it. <laughs> If I look at them and I say, somebody say seven levels of anointing, you don't repeat. You wait until they say it. Once they say it, you interpret now. You also, you come here. You also tell them, Mutusema Saba, Piwa. That is how interpretation goes. If I, I go down like this, you have to go like this. You are interpreting what I'm saying. That is the interpretation. Somebody say seven levels of an anointing. Mtu sema viwango saba ya upako. 
Now today, I will give you the symbolic of the Holy Spirit over your life. You have not come here just to listen, but you have come to receive. Amen. So let's go to the book of Isaiah. Oh, praise and worship, you are still standing here. <laughs> okay, go and sit down. I forgot about them. Honestly, I was only seeing my wife. I was not seeing anybody. If I do this, I used to see her here. So I was thinking maybe she's standing there to see if this one will do a mistake. She will take over. I didn't know what she's doing there. At least I forgot about praise and worship. You know why I forgot them? Some of them, the moment they finish praising, they go out. They don't listen to the word. That's why I forgot them. Do you know once you stand on the altar, you are not supposed to be walking out, out. <laughs> you people, you should pray hard. Yeah. So now Isaiah 11. We are looking at the seven levels of faith of, of uh, an anointing. And I believe by the grace of God you will be part of it today. May you experience this in Jesus' name. Now Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah Are you there? Uko pale. I'm reading verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, the spirit of counsel, and mighty, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. Na roho ya buwana ataka ju yake. Roho ya ekima na ufahamu. Roho ya ushauri na uweza. Roho ya marifa ya kumucha buwana. And shall make him of a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Na furaha yake itakuwa katika kumcha buana, wala hata ukumu kwa kuyafuata and aonayo kwa macho yake. Wala go on. Wala hata onya. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. And may he give it a stamp in your heart. This is a key scripture that we want to look at. In a very short time. To understand about the levels of an anointing. Now. If you look at this scripture, there are several different spirits that are being involved here. The number one is the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. Now, somebody say the spirit of the Lord. Now the spirit of the Lord is a different spirit that reveals the personality of Jesus. It reveals the personality of Jesus. If you look at the Old Testament, the Spirit of the Lord didn't have a place in the heart of man. Because the man defiled their heart 
Kwa sababu mwanadamu alichafua moyo wake. So there was no a resting place of the spirit of the Lord. Yo basi hapakuwa na mahali pa kupumzikia roho wa Mungu. So when the Lord want to do something in the life of a man. Wakati Mungu wakati Bwana anataka kufanya kitu kwa maisha ya mwanadamu. Whenever he wanted to do something in the congregation. Wakati wote alipotaka kufanya kitu katika umati. Or maybe he want his country his nation like Israel to hear a certain message. Ama anataka nchi ama taifa lake kama Israel isikie ujumbe wake. He used to release the spirit of the Lord to come upon somebody. Alikuwa anachilia roho wa Bwana aje juu ya mtu. So the spirit of the Lord cannot enter into somebody. The spirit of the Lord comes upon somebody. Roho wa Mungu alikuwa kuja juu ya mtu. He cannot enter inside. Haingeza kuingia ndani. He comes upon somebody. Anakuja juu ya mtu. Now it is a spirit that carry the mighty of God. Ni roho ya Mungu ambaye inabeba ukuu wa Mungu. It is a spirit that come to sit upon somebody. Ni roho ambaye inakuja kukaa juu ya mtu. So that, that person can do that which is not possible with the flesh and blood. Kile ambacho mtu huyo afanye kile ambacho mtu wa nyama hawezi kuifanya. The spirit of the Lord empowers somebody. Roho wa Mungu inatia mtu nguvu. It empowers somebody. Inatia mtu nguvu, ameatia mtu marifa. Remember, I am not saying the spirit of God. Kumbuka sijasema roho wa Mungu. That's why I'm going slow. I'm teaching. Ninaenda polepole ninafunza. The spirit of the Lord. Roho wa Bwana. In the Bible you will see the angel of God and the angel of the Lord. Kwa Biblia utaona malaika wa Bwana na malaika wa Mungu. The angel of God represent God himself. Malaika wa Mungu anakilisha Mungu mwenyewe. Let me repeat it because that's a mistake. The angel of God represent God. Malaika wa Mungu anakilisha Mungu. But the angel of the Lord is the princess of God himself. Malaika wa Bwana ni uwepo wa Bwana. Now, are you understanding what I'm saying? Waelewa kile ninachosema? Now, if you hear and the angel of God came upon in that house. Ukisikia akisema malaika wa Bwana akaja kwa nyumba hiyo. That is a messenger. Huyo ni ujumbe. God is not there. Mungu hayuko pale. It is a messenger who been sent. Ni ujumbe ametumwa. But whenever you hear the angel of the Lord. Lakini wakati unaposikia malaika wa Malaika wa Mungu. I am talking about God and the Lord. When you hear the angel of God. Ukisikia malaika wa Mungu. It's a messenger. Ni mjumbe. God is not there. Yuko Mungu hayuko pale. He's just a representative. Ni mwakilishi tu. Okay? I say okay. Nasema yes. ndio. You must respond though. Lazima ujibu. If you don't respond I'll sit down. Usipojibu nitakaa chini. These things I'm teaching if I put you here you cannot teach. Vitu hivi ninavyofunza nikikuweka hapa huwezi funza. There is a way I live. Kuna vile ninavyoishi. And how I pray. Na jinsi ninavyoomba. And how I dedicate myself. Na jinsi ninavyojitolea mwenyewe. To get this information. Kupata ujumbe huu. So if I put you here you even the things that you have learned if you stand here they will disappear so if I talk you talk I'm working hard the angel of God is a representative he's a messenger whenever he visits somewhere just a mere messenger has been sent God is not there Whenever you hear the angel of the Lord appeared in the house, it is the princess of God Himself. You hear the difference? You see the difference? So the one that visited Moses in the bush, burning bush. If you read the Bible, you will see the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord showed up to Moses. 
kanisa not the angel of god sio malaika wa mungu the angel of the lord malaika wa bwana the one that visited mary yule ambaye alitembelea maria the young girl yule msana mdogo giving the report of birth of jesus akiumpa ujumbe kuhusu kuzaliwa kwake yesu it was not the angel of, of god of the lord it was the angel of god akukua malaika wa bwana alikuwa malaika wa mungu So you understand now between the two. Unaelewa sasa kati ya hizo mbili? So when you hear the angel of the Lord, Ukisikia malaika wa Bwana, it is the Lord presence himself. Ni uwepo wa Bwana yenyewe. If you hear the angel of God, Ukisikia malaika wa Mungu, is a messenger. Ni mjumbe. God is very far, is in heaven. Mungu yuko mbali yuko mbinguni. So that's how it happen. Hivyo ndivyo inavyofanyika. Any place where the angel of the Lord appeared Malipopote malaika wa Bwana alionekana The next voice Sauti iliyofuata It will say and the Lord said to him Inasema na Bwana alisema alimnenea Let's let's prove it Acha tuithibitishe Go with me Enda nami In the book of Judges chapter 6 Tabu cha Hakimu Judges chapter 6 Let's 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 prove what I'm saying Because the people will say ah do, doctor doctrine is there You have to prove this is a church. It's good. Let me prove it. Tani thibitishe. Okay. Look at Judges chapter uh, which chapter is that? Chapter 6. Wa mtabu cha waamuzi sura ni ya 6. Okay. Now let's read verse 12. Some mustari wa 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him Who appeared here? Nani alionekana hapa? Malaika wa Bwana akamtokea akamwambia. So who appeared here? Nani alionekana hapa? The angel of who? Malaika wa nani? The angel of the law? Malaika wa Bwana. Appear to him. We are talking about Gideon here. Tunamwongelea Gideon hapa. Okay. Now, after he appeared to him. Baada kumtokea Look at the next verse. Angalia ndiko nao kwa. The verse is a continuation. Inaendelea. He said the Lord said. He said the Lord is with you. Akasema Bwana yu pamoja nawe. You mighty man of valor. Eh Bwana shujaa. So these are the words of angel of the Lord. Haya ndio maneno ya malaika wa Bwana. He visited Gideon. Alimtembelea Gideon. And he told Gideon. Na akamwambia. The Lord is with you. Bwana yuko pamoja nawe. Now who visited Gideon? Nani alimtembelea Gideon? The angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana. My wife is sitting here. Mke wangu ameketi pale. Her name is Rose Deborah. Jina lake ni Rose Deborah. Now my name is Dr. Tayo. Jina langu daktari Tayo. So I am now coming to bring the message. Hivyo basi nakuja napeleka ujumbe. I come to her. Nakuja kwake. And I say, "Hey, good morning." Nasema, "Eh, habari asubuhi." Dr. Tayo is with you. Dr. What is the meaning of that? Inamaanisha nini? Have you seen it? Umeiona? An angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana. Appear to Gideon. Alimtokea Gideon. And he said the Lord is with you. Na akasema Bwana yu pamoja nawe. Religious people, watu wa dini, they take it as just a story. Unaichukua kama hadithi. But this is a life word. Lakini haya ni maneno yaliyo hai. He now said the Lord is where with you. Anasema Bwana yu pamoja nawe. Now who was with Gideon by that time? Nani alikuwa na Gideon pale? The angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana. But that angel. Lakini malaika huyo open up his mouth and he said. Alifua kinywa chake akasema. The Lord is with you. Bwana yu pamoja nawe. Right now. Sasa hivi. Now let's continue. Acha tuendelee. Let's continue. Now he said the Lord is with you. Akasema Bwana yu pamoja nawe. Judges 11. Tebu cha muzi 11. He said the Lord is with you. Bwana yu pamoja nawe. Okay. Mighty man of valor. Eh bwana shujaa. Now verse 13. 13. And Gideon said to him, "Oh, my Lord." And in my Bible is capital meaning the Lord God. He said, "Oh, my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why all these things befallen?" on us and where be of this his miracles which our fathers told us saying did not the lord bring us 
up to Egypt but now the Lord has forsaken us and deliver us into the hands of Midianite. Gideoni akamwambia, "E bwana wangu, ikiwa Bwana yu pamoja nasi, mbona mambo haya yote yatupata? Yako wapi matendo yake ya adhabu waliotuambia baba zetu? Wakisema, "Je, si ye Bwana aliyetuleta katika huku kutoka um, Misri? Imekwaje sasa ametutupa?" So now is a conversation going on. Now uh, Gideon is now defending himself from the things that are going through in life. He said, okay, angel. My Lord. If the Lord is with me. Why are we going through the challenges that we have today? Based on the stories from our fathers. The testimonies that our father gave us. About the doing of this the Lord in the past. Where are his miracles? Where are we going through hard time? And you are telling me that he is with me? Now look at verse 14. He doesn't talk about angel again. Now verse 14 says He says And the Lord looked upon him He doesn't say angel again Who was Gideon talking to? Now after he talked to Gideon Gideon responded to him And the Bible says And the Lord he was talking to the Lord. He said, and the Lord looked upon him, Gideon. And he said, go in this, you are mighty. And you shall serve Israel. From the hand of Midianites. Have you not I sent you? Now, and the Lord looked at Gideon. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am by the grace of God proving that when the angel of the Lord appears to you, it was God himself. And the Lord looked at Gideon. And he said, I send you to go. And with the small strength you have, I will give you victory. Go in that might you have. That shows you. Do not limit God. Don't despise anywhere you are in life. And don't despise whatever thing you have. If you put it in the hand of God, it will give you a solution that you are looking for in life. I'm talking to somebody here. It despise how small it is. How little it is. And the angel of the Lord spoke to Gideon. Mighty man of valor. The Lord is with you. And Gideon said, ah, if I is with me, why am I suffering? And he said, go. In the small strength you have, you will overcome. So, this is my confirmation. Now, let me prove the second one. In the New Testament, Matthew, uh, let's look at Matthew or Luke. Any place of the birth of Jesus, let's look at Matthew. Okay, Matthew. Matthew. Let, let me prove to you again one point. Now, in Matthew, we have the visitation of an angel also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
about the birth of Jesus. Kuhusu kuzaliwa kwake Yesu. Now, which verse is this now? Let's look at the verse. The visitation of Gabriel. Pale Gabriel alimtembelea Maria. Why is the verse? Look at that quickly and tell me. Where is the verse? Okay. If you don't know, with me the one that's very easy is, is Luke. Ya karibu ni acha tuangalia Luka. Let's look at Luke because all of you, you are looking for that. Matthew is, Matthew is a generation book. Okay. Luke 1. Luka moja. We are reading the visitation of the angel. Kule ambapo malaika alitembelea. Okay. Now, in chapter 128, he says this. And the angel came in to her and said, Hey, you that are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Blessed be are you among women. Malaika akaingia nyumbani kwake akasema salamu uliyepewa mwenye neema bwana yu pamoja nawe And when he saw she saw him now in the places where I was reading Mali ambapo nilikuwa nasoma the word him neno yeye referring to God was in capitals Imaandiko katika herufi kubwa Here is in small he said when she saw him but small letters now verse 28 uh, 29 and when she saw him she was troubled at his saying and cast, cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be nae alipo muona akafadhaika sana kwa ajili ya maneno yake akawaza moyoni salamu hii ni namna gani and the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Malaika akamwambia, Usiogope Mariamu, kwa maana umepata neema kwa Mungu. I have many places to go, so let me finish with this confirmation. Nina malipengi pa kuwacha ni malize na uthibitisho mungu. An angel appeared to Mary. Malaika akamtokea Mariamu. And he said, you are blessed among women. Akamambia, umepata neema jio na kwewe. You are highly favored. Umepewa kibali sana. Uh, you are blessed among them. The Lord is with you. And then she, she also began to talk. She now, the Bible says, she now began to think, what type of a greeting is this? What manner of salutation, meaning greetings? And the Bible does not say, and the Lord say to him. He still say, and the angel say to her. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Look at that. In that other place where we read, he says, and the Lord say to him. Now, this is just one of them. The princess where you see the angel of the Lord. It is the princess of God himself. When you see the angel of God. is a messenger. Now the same. Is applied. With the levels. Now between the two. Which angel that carry the heavier anointing? The one that bring the Lord himself, Abby. Now, in the area of the anointing, is a, a potential that reveals the powerful of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that brings the anointing. The anointing is Jesus. Let me establish this. The anointing is Jesus himself. The Holy Spirit come to reveal the Jesus.
Jesus in the life of man. Roho Mtakatifu anakuja kufunua Yesu katika maisha yetu. By doing the words of Jesus. Kwa kufanya maneno makazi ya Yesu. Revealing the words of Jesus. Kufunua kazi ya Yesu in the life of man. Katika maisha ya wanadamu. Now in the same manner. Yo basi katika tabia ile. As we have the angel of the Lord and the angel of God. Kama vile tunavyo malaika wa Bwana na malaika wa Mungu. The Bible talks about the anointing. Na Biblia inasema kuhusu upako. Being a representative of the Holy Spirit. Kwa kiwakilishi cha Roho Mtakatifu. Now we have the spirit of the Lord. Tunaye roho wa Bwana. And the spirit of God. Na roho ya Mungu. Now when you hear the spirit of God. Ukisikia roho wa Mungu. He cannot have the ability. Haiwezi kuwa na uwezo. Or the power. Ama nguvu. Or the authority. Ama mamlaka. Like the spirit of the Lord. Kama ile roho ya Bwana. Now the spirit of the Lord. Basi roho ya Bwana. He govern all the spirits. Inabeba roho zote. Are you hearing? Unasikia? Now within the spirit of the Lord. Ya roho ya Bwana, we have different different spirits. Kuna roho, roho tofauti. Isaiah 11 where we read. Isaiah kuna mwe tuliko soma. You can look at it again. Tuna iza yangalia tena. We want to count and you see. Taka tuyesabu na utaona. The spirit of the Lord. Roho wa Bwana. He govern all the spirits. Inashiriki ame natawala roho zote. So in a place where we read in Isaiah. Maatu liko soma kitabu cha Isaiah. He's talking about the operation of Jesus. Inafanya kinaongena kusu tindakazi wa Yesu. How he will operate in his time. Jizi atakame fanya katika wakati wake. Under this heavy anointing. Sinye upako umzito. He say he give the spirit of the wisdom. Atakwa na roho ya ekima. The spirit of wisdom. Roho ya ekima. Is given there. He said he will operate. With the spirit of wisdom. Do you know what is upon him? What enables him to operate upon the spirit of wisdom? Everybody look at the verse again. If you get this one, these things will come to you. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Roho wa Bwana itakuwa juu yake. So it is my prayer. Ni maombi yangu. May you receive the spirit of the Lord over your head. Roho wa Bwana juu yake kichwa chako. You know the different we are looking. Nacho tofauti tunaoangalia. It's not too much knowledge. We want the glory of God to sit upon you. Nataka utukufu wa Mungu kae juu yetu. When the glory of God comes upon you. Wakati utukufu wa Mungu kae juu yako. Every problem will bow itself. Kila shida itapiga magoti mbele yako. Glory is a heavy anointing. It has a heavy impact. Am I talking to somebody here? He said the spirit of the Lord. Who rest upon him. And I pray in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of the Lord rest upon men and women. Under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive that spirit. By the doing of the Lord himself. It will help you. Somebody say I receive it. Somebody lift up your hand and say I receive it. Pray in one minute and talk about how to receive it. Just meditate on how you can get it. The spirit of the Lord. Pray that God will give you that spirit. The spirit of the Lord. When he rests upon you. Every demon will bow their kingdom. May the spirit of the Lord rest upon you. The spirit of the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. The spirit of the Lord. So I decree you receive the spirit of the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Now. I want to teach again in this place. I don't know what type of Bible you are reading. Look at the word spirit. Spirit of the Lord in your Bible. And tell me the spelling. 
Na uniangalie maandiko vipi? Of that word spirit. Na hiyo neno roho. The one that is written the spirit of the Lord. So look at the word spirit in your Bible. Yaangalie neno roho kwa Biblia yako. Spell it for me. Iseme kwa Yes. What type of S? You are only small. Now uh, oh, you are reading a wrong Bible. Somebody, uh, which version is that? Uh, what type of King James? This is King James. Eh? It's a wrong interpret, a wrong Bible. Who, who has a, because that's why, because it is being updated. That's why they are trying to reduce the level. Yes? And that S is what? It's a capital. How many of you that see a capital S in that area? In your Bible? If you see capital, lift up your hand. Just tell me, I see capital, I see capital, I see capital. In your Bible, even Swahili. Huh? The word roho. Ni ar kubwa amandogo. Yes, you have capital. Few people have capital. Some of you have small, small letters. Eh? If you have a small letter in that spirit, that word, it means your Bible has been in a uh, Updated. Whether it's a hard copy, it has been adopted from the updated Bible. If you write a small S, when you are talking about the Spirit, it means you are not referring to God. You are referring to a gift. Or a human being spirit. You see? So if you read there, it doesn't talk about any other thing. It's talking about God. He said, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Now look at the word him in your Bible. Is it capital? Is it capital? Uh huh. So you see, he's talking about God. Have you seen it? Now look at the next verse. He also talk about the spirit. Now he said, the spirit of wisdom. Stop there. Is that capital in your Bible? Those of you that you heard uh, uh, capital S. Is it capital in your Bible? That spirit. The spirit of what? Oh, what type of Bible again is that? The, the, uh, uh, the spirit of wisdom. Roho ya ekima. That's where I am. Apo ndipo niliko. We have finished. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Tumemalika. Then that is comma. Then we have the spirit of wisdom. Have you seen it? Roho ya ekima. You see it. Anyone that follow like my own, your own? What is your own? No, you are going well, but you are going faster. You have to follow what I'm saying. I'm saying the spirit of wisdom. So if your own is going like that, you also read up to there. Now, is your own spirit in that place, small letter or capital? Is a small letter. Small. All these refer to a gift. The reflection of the anointing. Now number one, yeah. after the spirit of the Lord, which governs everything. Now we have small, small things down there. Small S. Now the first small S is the spirit of wisdom. 
Now I don't want to teach you how to receive the spirit of wisdom. It will take the whole day. And even after teaching, you cannot receive it. Because wisdom is a gift. If you want wisdom, you go through trials of life. Encounter problems. And the way you solve that problem, you may get wisdom or not. Wisdom is given to people when you ask it the Lord to give you wisdom. God will allow a problem to come to you. That is how he answers the people that want wisdom. You want wisdom? Look at the problem ahead of you. Solve it in a godly way. You have wisdom. The moment you solve it according to the word of God, it's an evidence that the spirit of wisdom is with you. You will never ask wisdom. And when you wake up, you have wisdom. Wisdom grows from grace to grace. From power to power. From knowledge to knowledge. Wisdom is a ladder. It's a ladder. You cannot get it at home. It's that small, small. The Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So do you want to have wisdom? Start by fearing God. How do you start by that? Receive Jesus and live a life that glorify God. Wisdom is upon you. Hekima itakuwa ikonju yako. Ndiyo mana unaishi maisha ya kumcha mungu. Unaishi maisha ya kumpendeza mungu. Ukiishi maisha ya kumcha mungu, hekima inaonyesha ikonju yako. Ndiyo mana unaishi wa maisha. Kama unaishi maisha kutabika maisha ya bayo, ya naenda kinyume na matakwa ya mungu, unaishi maisha ambayo, haya pendezi mungu, inamana kwa mba we mpumbabu, unaujinga wa hali ya juu, hauna hekima juu yako. Hekima ikiwa juu yako, unaogopa mungu. Unaogopa mungu. When wisdom is upon you, it teaches you how to fear God. When people want to lead you astray, your heart will tell you no. What is speaking to you is the ability of wisdom. So the way you handle that problem is a confirmation that you have wisdom. And that is why ukitatua shida hii shida ya pili inakuja shida ya tatu inakuja kwa sababu mungu anataka upande vizazi viwango ata viwango anataka usonge viwango kutoka chini kuenda juu ha mungu ataki umbaki pale pale anataka ugro anataka ukue anataka ufanyike viwango ukishinda shida hii shida ingine inakuja hili kwamba uweze kuishinda kama utanguka hapa uweze kushinda shida ya pili inabidi urudia hile darasa la kwanza Urudia ya kwanza Bila hiyo Wezi faulu Nivi wango Ro ya ekima Itakuwa juu yake Ro ya ekima itakuwa juu yake Asante dada Ro ya ekima Itakuwa juu yake Ro ya nini Itakuwa wapi Juu yake kwa mana roo abwana atakuja juu yake. Huyo roo abwana atamwezesha number one. Atembe kwa roo ya ekima. Nani mawambia wapendwa. Kupata ekima wezi kada rasani. Ukapata ekima. Wezi ukapiga magoto kaomba ukafunga. Ukapata ekima. Ukitaka ekima ni ujifunza kumuti na kuogopa mungu. Na ukipata shida ama unapata. Unaitatua kiungu. Iyo inaonyesha unahekima. Una ekima. 
Sasa ya matatizo ambayo yanakuja kwenu yanakuja kuwafundisha jinsi mnaweza kupata hekima ya Mungu. Haya mambo unapitia unapitia ili upate karama ya hekima. Hekima ni uwezo ambao unasaidia mtu kutatua mambo ya maisha haya katika njia ambayo Mungu anapendezwa nayo. Mtu asema ndio. Mimi nakufubiria Bwana, mimi nakuhubiria. Kwambia hiyo ni hekima hiyo. Sema roho wa hekima atakuja kukaa na yeye. Roho wa hekima. Kumcha Mungu Baba. Ndio mwanzo wa hekima kumcha Mungu Baba. Ndio mwanzo wa kumcha Mungu Baba. Ndio mwanzo wa hekima kumcha Mungu Baba. Hiyo ni kitu imeandikwa na mimi nawaambia haifundishwi wangu. Ni kitu napokea. Tatua shida, kiungu. Tatua maratizo. So matatizo yako kulingana vile maandiko yanasema. Ukifaulu hiyo, hekima iko na wewe. Na ukishafaulu hiyo, tatizo lingine liko mbele. Ili tena uendelee kwa sababu ni viwango hadi viwango. Viwango uzeme shida ni nyingi. Ah ah. Roho wa nini? Sema hekima. Roho ya hekima. Wacha nikupatia ya pili. Eh? Ya pili hapa ni roho ya ufahamu. Sema ufahamu. The spirit of understanding. Kama una maarifa. Eh? Kama kama una hekima na una maarifa ufahamu unaelekea mahali pasawa. Ndio viwango hizo. Kitu ya kwanza inaingia kwa mtu ni hekima. Hekima ya kwanza inasema ngasikia huyo mhubiri bila anasema Hekima inakuambia njoo. Ukisikia mubira anasema Mungu anakuita nyango kuja. Atieno. Come. Hiyo ni hekima. Maandiko yanasema hekima inapiga kelele sokoni. Hekima inapiga kelele kando ya njia. Hiyo ni proverb inasema hekima inapiga inainua sauti yake. Pande la manjia inapiga hekima katika masoko inapiga hekima ikitana watu wakuja kwa Yesu, ikitana watu wa muamini Mungu. Hekima inapiga kelele mahali popote mlipo. Hekima inapiga kelele hata saa hii ndio hii imesimama kwa madhabahu ya inapiga hekima. Nasema wapigie watu wangu kelele waambie dhambi zao zimesamehewa, waambie makosa yao yameondolewa, waambie matatizo yao nimesikia na nashuka kuwasaidia, waambie wapate roho ya hekima tu, wapate roho ya maarifa, wapate ufahamu, hao watu watapona. Nasema waambie watu wangu wataibika. Hiyo ni hekima inaongea na wewe mama hautaibika mzee hautaibika hautaibika roho ya hekima nasema na ufahamu fahamu fahamu understand uwe na ufahamu uelewe mimi nimesikia lakini sijaelewa sasa Mungu anataka uelewe ufahamu lile jambo ambalo amefundisha understanding is a gift wana sasa ila sema hivyo Understanding is a gift. What else was that? 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 Dio mekuja sawa. Ile enu ya amen. Apana. Nimetakanga mpate hiyo. Kwa ni uwa muna sawa haraka na muna gani. Mambia mutu kile ambayo nililishwa kutoka utotoni. Kukitoa ni ngumu. Tabia ambayo umezoea tangu usaliwe. Kuyaja ni shida. Inaitua desturi. Mambia mutu desturi. Pana asifiwe. Amen. Ni mawafundisha siri hapo. Badala kusea ameni. Sema aleluya utakuwa umeadvance. Kusema ameni si dhambi. Lakini ukisema haleluya umefanya vyema zaidi kuliko mwenye amefanya amen. Hmm? Sasa understanding ufahamu. Kama una kitu na ukifahamu uwezi elewa, uwezi endelea mahali. Sasa ufahamu ni kiwango ingine, ni roho ingine ambayo inapeanwa kwa mtu ambaye anasonga viwango. Ufahamu ni kiwango ingine. Maandiko yanasema hivi. 
Tunaendelea pale tunahesabu. Roho nyingine iko pale. Hiyo ni angapi? Aya, the spirit of counsel. Roho ya ushauri. Maandiko yanasema mtu mwovu humshauri jirani yake vibaya. Mtu mwovu Mshauri jirani yake vibaya humpotosha jirani yake kwa mashauri ya kinywa chake mtu mwovu Sasa angalia wewe ulivyo shauri ule ndugu ulivyo shauri ule dai Angalia Roho ya ushauri hiyo ni mafuta kivi yake neema kivi yake karama kivi yake ambayo itakusaidia kupeana ushauri kwa wale wanaokuja kwako Watu wanakutana na wewe kila siku kwa maisha na wana mambo mengi wanapitia. Wanahitaji mtu wa kumshauri. Siku hizi counseling peke yake ni hela nyingi. Mimi nilikuwa naifanya kwa dakika 45 watu wananilipa 1600 hapa Kenya. Dakika 45. Unakana mimi kwa ofisi unaniambia shida yako. Ukimaliza na kuambia unatakaje? Kama mse moja alikuja akaniambia mimi nimesikia habari zako na nimeona nina shida kubwa sana. Mimi na shida kubwa sana. Lakini hiyo shida nimengangana nayo muda mrefu. Lakini nimegundua suluhisho. Mtu wa Mungu nimejua suluhisho nikamwambia ni gani? Akasema suluhisho ya shida ya mke wangu ni kuoa mke wa pili. Nikioa mke wa pili nitakuwa nimeratua hiyo shida. Lakini kabla sijaoa mke wa pili nimefikiria afadhali niende kwa ushauri. Lakini najua Suluhi Sasa Washauri ambao wanaitwa wanasayansi Hawa washauri eh? Wanao besi na mambo ya sayansi Hawa Hawangaliangi matamaniwa ya mungu Wadangaliangi matamaniwa ya mwenye Amekuja kushauriwa Sasa na mimi nilikuwa sifanyi ya mungu Sinimekuambia nilikuwa nalipa pesa eh, Nikifanya ya mungu Sinipuangu pesa Ile unanilipa pesa ni ile yenye nimefanya na maarifa yangu. Ya Mungu ukinipa pesa hiyo ni sadaka umetoa. Ni wewe umeappreciate kazi ya Mungu. Lakini sasa mimi ninafanya kazi watu wananilipa 1600 kwa dakika 45. Akaniambia sasa mimi nimeona ni kuona nikamwambia mzee sema shida yako nini? Mimi shida yangu ni mke wangu. Mke wangu ana shida. Na nimekaa na yeye miaka 13. Nimeona afadhali nioe mke wa pili. Nikioa mke wa pili mtu wa Mungu, hiyo kitu imeisha. Nimeona ana kiburi kwa sababu ako peke yake. Anajigamba. Anaona mimi na muogopa Mungu siwezi kuoa mke wa pili. Sasa afadhali nikioa wa pili, nimemaliza hiyo shida. Na, na mimi nataka niwaambie wanawake wengine hapa, mnatakana na mwanaume wako awe mke wa pili. Kama hiyo ndio shida. Sasa kama anajua hiyo begine ndio shida. Atatatua hiyo eh? Ataseka mbaka kufe Daulisa Kama kuwa muka wapili Itafanya huyo mzaa ishi miaka mingine sabi, eh, Salasini Siafadhali Kuliko kukana we walava jinyonge kesho eh? Mabibiria nasema Afadhali kuishi katika pala nyumba Kuliko kukaa kwa nyumba moja na mwanamuke mgonfi Biblia nasema fadhali kukaa juu ya pa ya nyumba kuliko kuishi hiyo ni Biblia yenye unaamini inasema hivyo mwanamke mgomvi anaondoa heshima ya mume kabisa wanaume wanawatembea huku unaona wamevaa malongi hawana chochote nguvu hakuna mifupa imekauka Maandiko nasema wakitembea hata upepo unaweza ukimpata anagana mnaia na, na ndio unaona wanaume wengi wanakufa mapema kuko na wajane wengi wanawake Mimi nataka niwashauri wanaume wapa usikufe kwa ajili ya mke wako Ishi mpaka Mungu akuchukue wakati wake Usikubali kuondolewa na upumbavu wa wanawake Usikubali Hakuna mtu atajazwa roho kwa sababu ameoa mke Na hakuna mtu ataongeza milioni kwa account because unapendezo na mke wako. Hakuna. Kwa mzisa hau hiyo. Waja kuangalia hapa tukiokoka unambia wanawake tatembea na hee wanajigamba. Naona kama bila wawu wezi fika kwa mungu. Hakuna mtu atalazwa, 
Hakuna mtu atalazwa na wambia Hakuna mtu atakua admitted Hakuna mtu atakua admitted Wamama wote sema amina Hawa wamama watai kushangilia Hati kwa sababu na Nimekanyaka juyenu Kila ziku na hubiria na wambia Wamama tuwape eshima Wasada tuwape eshima Lakini nini nanyi mpeane eshima kwa umezenu Peaneni eshima Mume wako aishi miaka mingi Hangalawa siondoke duniani Kabla wakati wake Wacha mungu mwenyewe aditamini kama taondoka Lakini weo usichangie Hey, we usichangie shikilia mna wako kwa heshima piga makoti unapombatia maji mambo ya kubungalana kusimama na mna hii kama mti ati ni mwenzako inama chini nyenyekea mbele ya mkwe wako ni, ni mfalme wako shangilia vijana na wazee shangilia wa mama watashangilia yao inakuja Mimi nimekwambia bwana, mimi nakwambia. Wewe mbona mbona unakasirika unataka kulia? Wewe unafaa ushangilie hiyo. Mumeo ni mfalme wako. Your husband is your king. There is no any other man in this life. Kupita mume wako, wachana mambo ya president, wachana mambo sijui ya president nani? There is no there, hakuna maombi makubwa. Ya kupita mume wako kukuombea Maombi ya pastor, maombi ya bishop, maombi ya archbishop Yote yako chini ya maombi ya mume wako Mume wako kikunani Hiyo lana hiyo ndolewi na pastor Mume wako kikunani Ndiyo mana wanaito husband The word husband inamanisha master Master ama buwana Neno buwana unajua? Unajua? Wanawake mmejaa viburi na pigana umezeni. Nini? Nini? We kuja basi. Tanu, tanu. We, 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 tafuteni mungu wala. Tafuteni mungu watawasaidea. Ah, mina kuambia ukweli. Tafuta mungu jeje kea. Mbele za mungu. Mungu watawatetea. Hata wabariki. Hata wainua. Hata wapaka mafuta. Mutapendeza. Nandiyo unaona. Hata ukijirembesha. Mume wako haoni yo urembo. Kwa sababu gani? Umejaa roho ambayo. Inaleta kiburi roho ya rebellion. Kama unakataa kujenyekea. Kwa mume wako. Hata ukijipamba. Haoni. Urembo wa mwanamuke. Uko katika kute. Na kunyenyekea. Mbele ya mume wake. Urembo wako uko pada. Eh. Kama utaki atafata wengine Atafata wengine Unaona huyo huyo wako Vila meweka urembo hii Utaiona tu kama na kuletea maja na njikea Ni mzuri ya na smile Kimuambia kitu na fanya Akianza kujipodoa lakini ya fati vila unasema Iyo urembo wezi yona Wezi yona Ndiyo unaona wanakaa kwa wanini kwa mdamrefu kwa kiyo Kwa kiangalia Kwa ni nini uwe mwana ume? Ni nini yenye simpati yangi yenye anafata ule mwingine? Eshima ni muhimu. Eshima ni upojaji. Inaitua ona. Ni upojaji, haa. Mungina niambia haa mimi ziwezi kuhu. Mwana ume tu. Kwa ni hakini hacha si mina. Mina ishi kiviangu. Kwa ni wako engi. Wako wabi. Waja ni washangaze. Wala wadada ambao muko miaka rubaine saina mjaolewa. Wengine muko salasina sita. Wengine hata salasini. Mumesimamia watu kwa marusi. Lakini ujafaya nini? We mwenye ujaolewa. Unajua ni kwa nini? Mina msichana alisimamia kwa rusi yangu alikuwa mmoja wa msichana. Wakati huo sijua alikuwa 38 years. Alikuwa jaolewa na mpaka saa hii ajaolewa. Saa hii tangu nioe ni miaka 23 sasa sijui ni 24. Alikuwa na 38 akisimama hapo wakati naoa kwa rusi. Na mpaka saa hii ajaolewa. Si kwamba aliolewa karudi. Ajaolewa. 
anajipodoa anajiweka wakati huo hata sijui za yake jipodoa inakuwaje Wasijana wakati wenu ndio huu wa kutafuta Mungu Unafikiria wako wengi Wewe unaona tu wako wengi wako wengi kwa vile unaona ni msichana mdogo Wewe unafikiria wanaume ni wengi wale wako <laughs> si my husband wale wako ni wanaume walio sharpen wanaume ambao wame sharpen viungo vyao wako tayari kurarua na kuharibu wanawake na wachana na mabinti mabinti wadogo wako asante mama asante thank you wale wako ni wale wame sharpen wale wametareka Unaweza kuwa unaimba hapa sifa lakini umetundika mimba wasichana kadhaa na hata kuoa umeshindwa kuoa. Baadaye unaamua wacha nimwangalie Yesu. <laughs> Anisaidie hiyo maisha si mzuri. Hata we mwenyewe unajutia. Unaona hiyo maisha haipo fa. Eh. Champion, nilikwambia nilikuwa na kijana alikuwa anamchezea keyboard. Huyo kijana alikuwa amelana wasichana 50. 50 na wengine wamejua wengine wamejua kuna wanaume wameshapen eh adui amewapaka ile mafuta nimesema hapa anointing amepakwa mafuta ya ku destroy kuna anointing of destruction kuna strange fire na kuna holy fire and holy anointing kijana mwenye hawezi kutembea na msichana hivi wakafika kutoka hapa mpaka pale kabla hajamwambia anampenda wakitembea kidogo ama wakifanya tu kazi kidogo kwa ofisi muda kidogo tayari macho ndio hiyo wameshaingiana eh huh? alafu mnajiita mmeokoka tumeisha tafuteni Mungu hakuna kitu kama hiyo haiwezekani mimi nakwambia kama una Mungu unaweza kaa na mwanamke mpaka jioni hata katoa nguo kina una shida nayo yes nakueleza kitu ambao najua nimekuambia na kuhubiria na uh, inaitwa nini experience na kuhubiria na maarifa nimesomea na kuhubiria na ufunuo Mama kama umepakwa mafuta mzee umepakwa mafuta hata siku hizi nimeshangaa mama pia wakiona uchi wa wanaume wa maisha kitambo ilikuwa wanawaka wavutu na vitu ambao wanaona wanavutwa na vitu wanasikia lakini siku hizi hata wamama wakiona uchi wa wanaume wa maisha tayari ni kutamani imeingia shida tuko naye Mungu atusaidie weka mikono kwa kichwa sema Mungu ni hurumie <laughs> Hey, mungu ni urumie eh? kuna mtu moja moja aliimba akasema eh? akasema tutaishia wapi leo na makanisa ya leo ni uzuni kuwa na watu kama hao maana siku ijayo watalia eh? Mungu aturumie bwana. Sasa mimi nimewaambia mama ambayo ufahamu na kusagia utimu mume wako, uti, upende mke wako. Na wake wengine wapendeke. Hata ukipenda ipendeke. Ha? Kuna mtu aliimba akasema ana nikupenda haupendeki. Nikiwa ndani. Nikitoka nje. Atunasema mimi sikupe nawe ukipendwa haupendeki Mwangalie mtu yeyote mama mali alipo mwambie pendeka ukipendwa Pendeka upende ukipendwa <laughs> Pendeka upendwa <laughs> Haleluya Roho ya ufahamu itaponya ndoa itaponya maisha itaponya mioyo ya watu tamaa za mioyo ya watu zitayeyuka na Mungu ataleta hofu yake na kuoga uoga wake ndani ya mioyo watakatifu Mungu atusaidie the spirit of cancer i love the maandiko yanasema another gift of mighty roho ya uweza the gift of mighty 
the spirit of mighty ya kufanyisha kufanya vitu zaidi ya kawaida alafu kuna spirit of counsel and might ndio hiyo the spirit of knowledge roho ya maarifa maarifa unafahamu sasa hizo vitu zote zinafaa ziwe saba nimekuhesabia ngapi ya kwanza roho ya bwana ya pili roho ya maarifa hekima ya tatu roho ya ufahamu Tunasoma Isaya 11:3. Alafu ya nne. Ya ushauri ya tatu. The spirit of might. Ya nne ya ya, ya, ya ngapi tano? Sita spirit of knowledge. Alafu ya saba ndio hii the fear of the Lord. Umeona zote? Yes. Umeona hiyo? Hizo vitu zote zinasababishwa when the spirit of roho ya Bwana ikija juu yako. <laughs> Sasa mimi wapendwa mimi naombeeni Mungu chochote ambacho tunafanya tuombe tusikose mbingu tuombe tusikose bi mbingu tusionekane kwa makanisa tunaruka ruka na kushangilia lakini mbingu tunakosa leo wamama wameipata mmepata dozi ndio hawajashangilia leo vile vile Wazee ndio wameshangilia lakini mimi nashangaa wazeni wagumu kweli. Hakuna mtu atashangilia kuletea hela. Ni mama tena ndiye aliinuka akaniletea. Wazee wanashangilia mpaka wanarukaruka lakini mifuko yao ngumu. Eh? Hadi ukitembelea nyumba ile kama una uhusiano na mama vizuri, unaweza toka kwa hiyo nyumba bila kunywa maji. Kwa sababu wazee wagumu sana, kuvunjika ngumu. Eh? Ni wagumu sana wazee kitamba toe hela yake amechunguza sana <laughs> ukiona mwanaume anatoa hela yake anapatia mwanaume mwingine au huyo mwanaume ameyeyuka kwa Mungu bwana ameyuka kwa Mungu maana ana value ana value <laughs> eh hey, wagumu sana hmm? wewe unaona unaweza ubiri mpaka wakasimama garuka ruka lakini kukupatia kitu ya maji apostle kunywa hiyo maji umesema point kunywa hiyo maji ni ngumu sasa Mungu akutukomboe na wazee au maio. Ukiona huyo mwanaume ambaye ni stingy. Hmm? Mwanaume ambaye ni stingy. Wanaume wagumu sana. Mwanaume kama hawezi mpatia Mungu, hawezi kupatia pesa. Eh, ni mgumu. Kwanza wangapi hapa wanaume mnatoa fungu la kumi? Mnataka kuniambia hamna kazi ya mgulangi? <laughs> mnatoa fungu la kumi wapi? Jua pili mimi nawaona hapa. Na na fungu la kumi mnapelekanga wapi? Eleteni hapa fungu la kumi Nile niwe na afya. Alafu niendelee kuwaonya. Eh, mimi na nyinyi tuonyane. Kwanza tunataka tuanzishe ushirika wa men, wanaume. Eh, tunataka si ndio? Tujengane wenyewe bwana. Vile tutafanya nini? Vile tutawapenda hawa dada. Ndugu yangu tusipokaa pamoja tuombe Mungu na tusaidiane vile tutapenda hao wake. Maandiko yanasema ishi nao na maarifa. Sasa maarifa paka atoke ndani ya neno la Mungu. Hmm. Tukae pamoja tuombe wazee tushauriane tuone hao wake zetu tutawagandamiza namna gani. Tutawawekaje kwa mfuko. <laughs> Sasa tukimaliza kuongea mnaweza kuinua mkono mniambia aposto si unakuanga na dua sai sai nakwambia ya uko na mafuta ya dua sai sai nakwambia ya bas sasa nyinyi wanaume wangapi mmaona wake zenu ni vichwa ngumu nainua mkono bas muje kwa ofisi tafanya secret prayers tutaomba maombi ya siri alafu ndawekea kila mtu dua sai sai dua sai sai ukienda kuambia mke wako chochote utamwambia atafanya vile umesema sasa mke wako atakuwa chini ya yako. Hiyo nayo inaitwa urogi tena. Nagandamiza mtu. Hiyo <laughs> tena ni mbaya. Unagandamiza mtu tena. Si waje mtu aamue mwenyewe. Badala ya kulazimisha mtu kwa mai, kwa akili zake kuamua. Mimi niko na dua za sasa. Wangapi mnajua dua za sasa? Dua za sasa niko nayo ni product. Product. Eh? Ni product. 
hata hapa wala ambao mnaona mnaumia na hivi vitu nawahubiria lakini kisiri ndani ya moyo unaona huyu apostle nitamwendea nimwambie uje 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 wajana na watu wana nini we uje kama unataka dua as i say ndio as i say nitakuja kuifundisha hapa alafu nitakuja kufunulia kwa maandiko alafu nikimaliza nitakuja itumia hapa alafu uone vile kunaenda kabla sijafundisha siwezi itumia do as i say is a product kuna watu wewe ungependa mtu akwae namna gani sasa hii ukinua mtu atakwambia mimi nataka mwanaume mpole mwanaume ambaye anapenda Mungu mwanaume ambaye na yeye mwenyewe au anapenda Mungu awe ni mpole awe si Ukiona msichana anasimama na babaka anajibishana eh hey, mimi hivi ujue hiyo shida mwanaume yote ambao umependa huyo umeendea shida wewe umeingia kwa shida au wasichana mnaona hivi jamani vijana ambao mjawa muombe Mungu awakutanishe na watu wa maana usikutane na misirani mimi msichana wangu akiolewa akienda hakuna siku atarudi kwangu ati amefukuzwa ati sijui ati waelewane na mume lazima waelewane huko lazima waelewane lazima waelewane vile walielewana mara ya kwanza kaenda lazima kae huko waelewane mpaka mwisho waelewane kama shida itakuwa kwa msichana wangu eh itabidi akae huko mpaka waelewane lakini kama mama yake ni kisirani ataumwa huu ataumwa huu atajua kumbe babake alikuanga ndio ule watu walikuwa nasema ni mchawi eh kabla msichana wangu hajaolewa nitamwagia mafuta na nita, na tena nitatangaza mbele ya mume siku ile atakupiga mikono itaparalyze wale wote mnataka kufanya ndoa na wale mnataka ni waombe hiyo maombe mtakuja hapa eh hey. kama wewe huwa unapigwa na mwanamume jo hapa ni kuombe asante wanaume wamefunjika sasa huyu huyu amevunjika tena hii sadaka mzuri God bless you sir. Tani wewe kwa mfuko nisirushe chini asha wakaokota wakawe wakapu huko. Eh? Waje nikwambie kama unapigwa na mwanaume ukuja hapa. Kuna maombi nitakuwekelea. Inaitwa kuwekelewa ni mzito. Takuwekelea. Hiyo maombi nikikuwekelea mama wako atacheza na wewe utakuwa ni kitu ya kuchezea mbali. Akienda kucheza unamkumbusha. Unakumbuka vile nabii alitabiri juu yangu. <laughs> Unakumbuka? <laughs> Usisahau. <laughs> Usisahau. Tatabiria. Halo. Msisumbuke na hii mambo. Nika hapa nikutabirie. Nikurundikie neno. Mtu akienda kinyume nalo, pap. Neno hilo ndio linamfuata lenyewe. Nani wageenda huko? Wa vijwangu. Wanawake. Mafuta itafanya wasiwe vichwango. Mafuta. Sini anointing inawezesha mtu kufanya vitu ambavyo alikuwa ameshindwa. Inakatakata minyororo fulani. Soma Isaya, mtu alizomea Isaya. Soma Isaya 27 mstari 10 27. Soma. Uone vile inafanya. Ishi 10 inasema inasemaje? tena itakuwa katika siku hiyo muziko wa mama hawa muziko wa vijana muziko wa wazee utaondoka begani mwao nayo nira itaondolewa shingoni na nira itaharibiwa kwa sababu ya kutiwa mafuta mchana wa leo nataka kuatia mafuta ya kuharibu kila nira shingoni mweno katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti sema napokea hiyo sema napokea hiyo mizigo mabegani iondolewe lana za ukoo zifunjike lana za majina zifunjike vituko vya mashetani viondoke kwako uwe na visirani uwe na lana toka vihame kwako mafuta sema mafuta ama Isaiah hakuongea kuhusu hiyo itakuwa siku hiyo hiyo siku hiyo yako leo May that day become your day. I pray that today be your day. Ah, somebody say it is my day. Ah, mtu aseme ni siku yangu. Sema hiyo maneno wanasema ni siku yangu. Pokea hiyo maneno wewe mwenyewe, hiyo yako. Hiyo ni yako. 
Iwe ni yako Itakuwa siku hiyo Mzigo wake utaondoka begani mwake Nane na mzigo katika maisha Nane na mzigo katika mabega Hadalana itaharibiwa shingoni Kumbe katika mashingo ya watu Ndo kuna fungu alahana Waja tuaribu hiyo Tuaribu hiyo Na hivi wango vya roho saba Abasi na kambele ya kiti cha mungu kinawaka Abasi simetuma kwa makanisa duniani Na ndiyo hii mafuta na wafunulia Izi zote ni roho ambazi tambatana Na wale watakao pokea maombi ya leo Hii Hii itambatana na nyinyi Weka mikona yako miwili kwa kichwa Sema buwana yesu Ni hurumie Ambatanisha nami Kila tamko Na kila ombi Lililo na faida Litakalo tamkwa Katika maisha yangu Buwana Ni sabehe Dambi na makosa Niliofanya Kwa kujua na kutojua Leo hii Geusa maisha yangu Yawa ya faida Bwana na kuitaji Natamani kutumikia Mungu ni poja mwili Na roho Na nafsi Kwa jina la yesu Chukua na fasi kuja mbele tuombe Tembeo kija mbele tuombe Tarisha moyo wako tuombe Tuombe mungu wa tusaidie Wana nasema na utasimama utabiri neno langu katika masikioni mwao Na wataitika amina Kwa kusema hivyo nitafuatilia na mkono wangu nilitia alama Katika maisha yao Na minitaenda pamoja nao Kwa paka mafuta ni kwa ruhusu muende na uwepo wa mungu Wana tawasaidia katika kila sehemu Fitu vingi muna pambano na avyo na siku penda kwa wamama na wazena vicha Lakini mungu wa mbingu atawatetea Wana tawasaidia Uuu Wana unisaumu ya angu wa Unitetee Wakati watu wana nipiga vita Machi ya napo furika Machi ya napo furika Ya sinimese Machi ya napo furika ya sinimese Machi mada yake ni matatisa ya watu Na sumbufi sa wanadamu Nisikumese Wana wengi wana tafuta maisha ya mbu Kunimaliza Lakini kama si wewe Ningelikuwa wapi buwana Singelifanikiwa Nani angeli muhonga mungu Ukiomba asisikia Wengi waliniweka katika kikapu Wakasema taya meisha Wengine wakasema natebea chini ya lana Leo hii Mungu amenifanya kuwa kiungo kusapoti wengi na kuinua wengi. Sasa huyu Mungu akutetee. Wewe unamwogopa, unamcha. Isiende bure. Inua mikono yako mbele za Bwana. Choke hiyo mikono kwenda juu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Naja mbele zako. Nisamee dambi na makosa niliofanya kwa kujua na kutojua osha moyo wangu kwa neno lako safisha nafsi yangu kwa damu yako andika majina yangu katika kitabu cha uzima na ukayaondoe katika vitabu vya lana na mateso ya shetani leo Nafungua moyo wangu Nena mbali mehubiriwa hapa Nafungua moyo wangu Nadipokea Liwe la faida Katika nafsi Na katika roho E mungu Ulisaidie Bila wewe buwana Siwezi Bila wewe buwana Siwezi Bila wewe buwana Siwezi Bila wewe buwana Nipe 
the foolish. Baba, be love, we buana. Oh, see where I say. Be love, we buana. See where I say. Be love, we buana. See where I say. chako hiyo maneno ulikuwa naimba fungua kinywa chako mwambie bwana nihurumie 
katika maisha haya usipotee unapopambana kupata vile utakula vile utakunywa vile utavaa na vile uta survive Mungu akushikilie usiende kando la njia Roho wa hekima Roho ya maarifa roho ya ufahamu roho ya uweza roho ya ushauri ije juu yako chini ya mamlaka ya roho wa Bwana anapokuja juu yako Bwana awapatie hizi viwango vyote vingie kwenu Bwana awe pamoja nanyi katika mienendo na njia zenu zote kule mtatembea vile mtapitia Shala bakata la bariando tamkatu kwa kinya chako mwenyewe In Jesus name mikono sema bwana Yesu asante kwa kusikia maombi yangu asante kwa kunitendea ninapokea alasiri ya leo kila ambacho umeniandalia niponye nafsi niponye mwili niponye roho kumbuka jamii yangu watoto wangu ndugu zangu wote wa kike na wa kiume kumbuka boma letu kumbuka nyumba yetu Kumbuka jamii yetu. Kumbuka taifa lako. E Mungu, nitetee. Nisiwe waibu, bali nipate heshima inayotokana na kumtumikia Mungu. E Mungu, unisaidie. Amen. Sasa wapendwa, nataka mtengeneze laini. Unaona? Unaona ile sadaka uko nayo yenye unataka kutoa leo? Tenda utengeneze uweke kwa mkono. Alafu utengeneze laini moja tu namna hii. Tengeneza sadaka ile ulikuwa unataka kutoa leo. Iwe una fungu la kumi uwe una nini? Weka hiyo kwa mkono. Alafu uje utengeneze laini moja hapo.
Sadaka yako hapo kwa madabaho Unatumia kidole chako cha katikati Ichi, mkono wako Unatumia kidole cha katikati Unachovia pale, unajiwekea Unachovia pale, zote saba Unajiwekea, ukimaliza Mimi nitakupatia alama yangu Alafu unaenda unakaa Ukaanza kushukuru mungu Weka hapo nini Aya, tuendele nani To be a vessel in your hand, Jesus. Hey, I want to be a vessel. Oh no, I want to be a vessel in your hand, Master. I want to be more like you. I want to be more like you. Yeah. I want to be more like you Ooh. I want to be a vessel in your hands Jesus, I want to be more like you I want to be more like you Yes, who 
to you, Lord. Draw me closer to you, Jesus. Draw me closer to you. Heal your people. Draw me closer to you. Wafute watu wako karibu. jina la Yesu natangaza kila mafuta yazungumuze habari za neno lake katika maisha yako mafuta ya hekima mafuta ya maarifa mafuta ya uweza mafuta ya kumchabwa mafuta ya kukuwezesha kuwa na maarifa mafuta ya ushauri yatembee pamoja nawe mafuta uponyaji na watangaza kuwa watu waliopona nafsi mwili na roho na watangaza watoto wenu waponywe mili nafsi na roho na tangaza ndoa zenu zipone mili nafsi na roho na tangaza kuwasongesha karibu na Yesu karibu na Mungu Baba karibu na roho wake afanye kituo katika maisha yako Mungu akutetee kwa mambo ambayo ulikuwa unangangana nayo yawe mepesi kuanzia saa hii. Mambo ambayo yamekuwa magumu yawe mepesi. Na kutangazia milango ambayo imekuwa sugu imekataa kufunguliwa ikafunguke. Katika jina la Yesu kwa hiyo mafuta natangaza mabadiliko katika maisha zenu, mabadiliko kwa ndoa yako, mabadiliko kwa masomo, mabadiliko kwa kazi ya mikono yako, natangaza mabadiliko kwa viungo vya mwili, pokea uponyaji, pokea neema, pokea kibali, pokea ushindi na kupatia kibali kwa huduma yako, pokea kibali kwa mafuta ya huduma. Ukisimama watu wapende, maneno ya kinywa chako ipendeze hata kwa biashara yako na kutangaza Upoke kibali katika jina la mwanao Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai natangaza njia zako zifunguliwe wazi kwa jina la Yesu Namurisha mapepo kushindwa maroho machafu kushindwa 
mashetani kuondoka katika mawazo yako na kemea mashetani kutoka kwa mawazo yako kwa jina la Yesu maroza kumaskini ndani ya mawazo ya watu toka toka chomeka 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 hama hama katika maisha watu hama roza kushindwa hama roza mikosi hama roza lana lana na vituko vya mapepo maroza magonjwa katika maisha watoto wenu zikauke kwa jina la Yesu haya Inua mikono na kupatia kibali cha Bwana. Pokeeni kibali. Pokeeni mshindi wa Yesu. Bwana kutetee, akupe kima. Tatizo likija kwako leo, litakalo kutatiza, litatue kwa njia ya hekima ili Mungu adhihirike. Pokea hekima. Pokea maarifa. Pokea ufahamu. Pokea kumcha Mungu na kubariki na sadaka hizi na viwango hivi saba vya mafuta yake vidhihirike katika maisha yako na kazi ya mikono yako bwana kutetee wiki hii iwe ya faida isiwe ya aibu bwana kuondolee wiki hii isiwe wiki ya visirani na kemea mikosi na laana inayotumwa na mapepo na maro machafu kinyume nawe katika wiki hii iwe chini ya nyayo zako chini ya nyayo zako chini ya nyayo zako kwa jina la Yesu wa Nazareti Bwana apokea sifa kwa kazi ya mikono ya watu wako umewatetea mtuangie Yesu makofi mazuri tuangie Yesu makofi na migala gale Wangia Yesu makobu na bigele gele.